Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me at K Warner Studio. Today I have an unboxing and it's Love from Lizzie's card kit for November 2017. This card kit has all kinds of goodies in it. I've been watching, or I have watched, uh, Lizzie's unboxing and I just can't wait to get mine open. Just to let you know, we're having a massive storm here and the wind is, gets quite loud, uh, so you may hear it. I also have two little dogs, a Lassa Apso and a Havanese, and the Havanese was a rescue dog and he is scared of his own tail, so he's having fits today. So let's try to get this done before he gets too loud. The kits come in two resealable bags. One that has an assortment of embellishments, pardon the chair, and then another one that has all the papers and other goodies. So let's get into that. This piece of paper is here so that I can show you the stamp set. And I can tell already that blue is a dominant color, and I love blue. When I had my first apartment when I was in university, I never really noticed it until I looked back at pictures. <laughs> and everything in that apartment was blue. So, all the furniture, all the... Um, everything it was just unbelievable to me how I didn't notice it at the time. <laughs> so here's the stamp set. This is designed by Lizzie, and it is a Love from Lizzie exclusive. It's manufactured in... England and it's made of photopolymer. So we're going to stick that right there. So here we have the 6x6 six six pattern papers and this here is beautiful. This is going to make a beautiful card. So you have the birch trees and then you have uh, branches behind here and you can see that. Pretty, really nice. Single sided as well. Here we have grays and blues and white snowflakes, but you can see you have these lines that go from the top to the bottom uh, haphazardly through the whole design. Really nice. Christmas trees and stars, and this it looks like a quilt, but you could also have these as lights too. And you can see the stitching that has stitch the trees and the stars on. It's a zigzag. Very nice. Then they have behind here, almost superimposed, are uh, snowflakes. Here we have acorns and the the needles are the blue. So the needles of, on the branches are blue. Hopefully you can see that when I bring that up there. Yeah, you can catch that. So that's what that paper's like. This is like a bokeh, uh, snowy window kind of design. You can see the bokeh circles there, but then you can see the snow and kind of like reflective snow. And here on the bottom and on the top are the branches. Move that, it's probably too much. There, that's probably better. So, that's what we have with that. And it's nice, thick paper. Here is wood grain, so it's like the paneling of the wood or the individual pieces of wood run this way. So they're horizontal on the page, and then we have branches, black branches up each side. Um, the more dominant on this side here. Uh, so yeah, maybe you can see the needles there. Yeah, and then these are all snow. So that's pretty. This one has um, triangles behind it and then we have the branches of the evergreen or pine or whatever it is on top of it and you can see that it's really an interesting paper I don't think I've 
ever had one that was like that and I get a lot of paper. And here we have a stay kit and if you had Lizzie's kits uh, last year, last year at this time, she had veneer stay kits in the kit. So if you have one of those hanging around you might put it to use. Very nice. And then here we have just snow. It goes from um, a beigey gray to a gray and then two different kinds of blue with um, different shades of darker blue. This shade here is different than this shade here. I don't know if that picks that up, but really nice. These look like icicles hanging down. And here is that triangle geometric pattern again on this one. Um, these are pine needles too, or evergreen needles along the perimeter, although they're not as um, visually, you can't see them as well as you could on the last few. And then we have some snowflakes, or snowflake designs, I guess you could say. And then this one here is different individual pieces of wood that are laid that way. And then you have like um, bokeh behind here, kind of like a dreamy, foggy kind of pattern. Here we have a nice you know, predominant white dot, but then they get much lighter over here. And then we have stripes, beiges and blues, more of a yellowy. This is gold in here. It could be a gold. If you put it next to a gold, you could have it as a gold. So maybe an old fashioned gold and a more modern gold, light blue. This here is like a teal, dark teal right here. These lines, very pretty. And it's like it's aged in spots where you can see um, the paint has wore off. Here. Very nice. So that's the design, the dot design paper. And then we have different color pearlescent. So this is a, a bronze or brass. Very nice. And I'm going to measure those so that you can get an idea of what these are. So um, I'll do it this way so that I can give you both metric and imperial. So it's five and a half and imperial is almost 14. Yeah, just 13.9, uh, 0.9 and a bit actually centimeters and then um, inches across is Imperial across is four and a quarter, so this would be a nice uh, card mat if you chose to do it that way. And then metric, it is 11.7, no, 10.7, sorry, 10.7 centimeters. So here we have that some brass. Oh, look at this blue. I love, I love this blue. It's nice and pearlescent. and you can see there on both sides it is. Very, this one as well. So all of these that I'm showing you, uh, and unless I find one that isn't, and I'll be sure to show you. So this is like the light gray, which I mentioned, uh, gray, <laughs> like gold, which goes really nice with this one, the lighter one. Very nice. So this is a pearlescent as well, nice shiny, but it's it's matte, more matte than let's say this one was. Although I guess it's just the color on both sides, but it does feel matte, matte. And this here is, this could be snow cut out, make, make nice snow. So this is your white. It's like, almost has like a, a pink and blue cast to it when you see it moving here in the light. And that is double sided as well. This is a thinner paper and it's like a canvas texture. Yeah, you can see that. Very, very nice. It's thinner, but it's a nice addition and that is just single sided. So it looks like canvas when you paint. The canvas 
frame that's a fine tooth to it. And this is like a gold or graphite, double sided. I meant to say gray or graphite, not gold or graphite. What is my issue with gold today? But there you go. I'm going to lay them out in a line so you can see that they're not all gold. <laughs> and this is um, like a like a mirror, but not quite. Very nice. Shiny, and that's single-sided. And this is almost like a pale rose gold or a pale pink. It's like a there's little uh, glittery things in there. It almost looks like it's textured, but it's not. It's really quite nice. You can pick up the slight texture. Yeah, up in here you can see it. Yeah, it has like a texture on it. It's really nice. So here we have, so that's more matte than some of them. So these are double. Put on the double sided on one section. So these are the double sided pearlescent papers, and you can see that some are shinier. These are more matte, these ones. And then this selection is single sided, the thinner paper that's like canvas. And you can see the texture maybe on this side a bit. Yeah, this is not the usable side, but I was hoping you could see the texture. Not as well as you can on this side, I expect. There you go. So that's that. This is single-sided, but it's it's really quite beautiful. It's like a pearlescent. And this is like your buffed mirror, and that's single-sided too. So uh, we have eight of these. Five and a half by four and a quarter, or... 13.9 and a bit by 10.7 centimeters. And then we'll get the card stock. So we have a brown, blue, a light blue or robin's egg blue, a white that's really smooth surface, probably good for stamping. And then we have this craft, and this craft has embossed lines that run down the length of the sheet, like a pinstripe, except it's embossed. And then we have this veneer wood grain, very nice, nice sheen to it, and it's one-sided. It's, it's thinner than the cardstock. Look at the possibilities. So that's that. And then we have a sheet of stickers. So if you're into scrapbooking, what a beautiful header that would make. And you can see how this really coordinates well with the paper. I just wanted to show you something here that's come to mind. Like these here, with any of these down here really uh, over here this all matches beautifully but that's not what I wanted to show you this is so this is the different woods as I mentioned they have like a dreamy kind of thing but this here has the same so this is like a frame so you actually this is actually three parts you've got this nice scene here with your snow banks, your trees without your leaves, and then a tree, which is exactly the same as this. And then the perimeter, which could be a really nice frame on a square card, is the same. And then this here is a frame that you could use also on a square card. Here we have some bells, and these come off like this it's a cardstock sticker and this one happens to be flagged on the end so does the one beside it these three are this one here isn't but you have a nice you can see that you have a nice stag on there if, the, if you're into stags um, 
This is a straight sticker right across, so it's not flagged, as are these. And this here is exactly the same as the quilt that I mentioned to you previously. I won't do this to all of them because it's probably not as interested as I am, but there you go. Here is the same. These here are the stag hits. This one here matches perfectly. So let me find that stag head for you. This Christmas matches this paper here in the designer paper pack. This and this are the same. Well, they're coordinated. I shouldn't say they're the same, but they're wonderfully coordinated. This is uh, That's the thing about Lizzie's kits. They're so well coordinated. She doesn't uh, put things in there that aren't going to match. This here is well organized. And these. These tags are the same as this tag here. So I mean, it, you could do so much with this sheet. Just this sheet with the cardstock, you could make enough cards, more than 10 cards. So I'm doing a 10 cards, one kit after. Um, and I have another video to do. And then I'm going to do the 10 cards, one kit. And I'll utilize some of those stickers, but not all of them, because I want to show you how to do different things and just those. I'm sure you won't need too much help with the stickers, but I mean, those would be wonderful with these panels and some of the designer paper. We've got a whole bunch of things that you could do. Now I just want to show you this stencil. This is a stencil, but it's sticky backed for positioning, so it's do some uh, uh, texture paste and stuff. This would be on there nice and securely. Um, sprays and rubs and different um, distress crayons and things, but what's wrong on that? Sorry about the noise. And then these these are sparkly. Sparkly Love from Lizzie peel-offs. There's no glitter in them, nothing comes off on your hands, but they're nice and sparkly and it's um, gold, as you can see. But it's not um, a gold like this gold. It's more of an old-fashioned gold, like this gold. We actually did have gold um, peel-offs that were quite similar to that. And a few kits back, here is a sheet of acetate. This acetate is snow, and this is an international sizing, so it's a little bit uh, longer and narrower. But you can see they're more condensed here, and then less down here. So you could certainly put a nice panel over something. And then we have, speaking of panels, we have another panel here. Um, this was cut in half to fit in the bag, but nothing was uh, wasted. And all of these, as I mentioned before, will coordinate with the pattern paper pad. Everything here coordinates. So we have the four across here. As you can see, that they're reoccurring elements. And we have these three. All is calm, all is bright, let it snow. We have the tags here that said every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Very nice. Joy to the world. We've got the wood grain behind there. And then we have hope inside the wreath. Merry Christmas. So we have some pine and some fir and some spruce in there. And then we have decorations that are hanging from the blue evergreen. And finally, a stag head again. So there's lots there. I mean, look at the ideas for cards right there. And just to let you know, the stag head is on the reverse. So if you're into scrapbooking, there's lots here as well. You could have cut these and have on the back. You could have your comments, with place a piece of paper over the back. And then here we have some more frames. So let's have a look at this. This too was also cut so that it could get inside of the resealable bag. 
and you can see there's um, a lot of different elements here. The stag head is in this frame. We have stars and and uh, tree limbs. The decorations, stars, the bells, angels' wings. So that's that. And on the back, it is the geometric triangle shape that's repeated as are these. So everything is coordinated all through here. Here's the snowflake that I was pointing out in the other one. And then um, all around the outside of this, it's it could be the tree branches. It's hard to tell because it's uh, really faint. So that's the reverse of those frames. And now let's get into the embellishments. I want to make sure that I put that off to the side. And let's get into this. So our Nouveau Drops, the full package this uh, time is Glitter Drops. So the Nouveau Glitter Drops and the shade is Chocolate Fondue. It looks like it's kind of purpley, but it's it's not. You can see the glitter all through that. It's just um, with the white of this packaging over that, it's uh, having a cast, but it is um, brown. Here we have some really um, very shiny and pliable ribbon. And this is a meter, so you can see it's a woven. And then it has a um, very narrow strip of white on each side. So that's that. That's a meter. And then you have a meter of gold wording. Just put that on here so you can see the color. There it is. It's a yellowy. It's a different color than this one. You can see the two of them together. They're different colors. And that's the cording. And then there's the navy blue wire. I'm going to put that above here. Oh, put that on here. And there's a meter of this as well. And also, there's half a meter of these reindeer. This is like a copper color. And they are puffy on both sides. So it's like they've taken two sections and pressed them together around the edges so that it's puffy here. I don't know if that'll pick up. Yeah, you can see it. So that's how it is. Gold color. Not gold. Copper. Having problems with my colors today. <laughs> so there we have it. So you could do a lot with that. Half a meter. Hopefully I told you that. And this is pretty. This is a navy blue with gold on the sides. It's pretty as well. This is just beautiful. It's going to make such beautiful things for Christmas. And then we have another ribbon here. This is Stags and it's bendable. See it holds its shape. So if you were somebody that made a wreath and you wanted to tie a big bow, this would be this would be the thing to use. And it is a meter. And it's brown and beige as you can see. It's folded over because this is a raw wire on the ends. So be careful when you're unboxing yours. And then we have these gold triangle mirror pieces that are stickers on the back. So that's interesting. Maybe if you put these inside of a texture paste with the uh, triangle mask or stencil then we have tags and they're a wood grain with whitewash. This is a more of a whitewash. They all have a hole in them. And then there's three pieces of jute for each one of the tags. So in case I didn't show those properly. That looks like apple wood in between there, but maybe not. But that's what it looks like to me. 
and um, whitewash. There's a lot of whitewash in this one as there is this one and then you have your three pieces of jute to insert in the holes. So you can make some super nice tags and then we have uh, sampling of sequins. So we have brown, gold, blue, white, and different sizes. So three millimeter all the way up to eight or nine millimeter there. Uh, so that's a nice assortment and I'll hold that up so you can get a look. So here's a large white ones and there's blue that are large and small and gold. That's that. You get a Distress Crayon and Picket Fence. So if you wanted to make some snow on things, it would be really effective. We have some jewels. We have three strips of the small. And there's self-adhesive in gold. Two strips of the medium size. Self-adhesive. These are all the same color. And then we have the larger self-adhesive gold jewels. So you can see they're quite large. So there's the three different sizes. And then we have some wooden pieces. are almost like matchsticks. Those, um, the pattern that I showed that Christmas trees was made out of wood. You could certainly distress that a bit and do the same thing. I'll get a piece of the jute there. And then we have five epoxy stars. And they're in the same color of gold as the cording. Just trying to get a good look at those. There you go. And so then we have that stuff off because I want you to see these veneers. So the, the veneers here are all snowflakes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. And you could certainly put your picket fence on these. Heat them up with, uh, set the picket fence with a heat gun and oh I have some more so we'll move these out of the way and so this is 25 25th of December Gingerbread man, a house, a tree, stocking, Noel, where the O is a snowflake, a wrapped gift, a bauble, and a stag. And there you go. Very nice. And then finally we have the dies. And then I'm going to stamp the stamp set so you can see how it looks. And then we have a stag head. And let me tell you how big that is so you get an idea. So from the top to the bottom it is three and a half wait yeah three and a half centimeters or one and five eighths inches almost one and a half inches so that's that and then Merry Christmas it's in a it's in a script and it is the width centimeters is one and a half, although at the beginning where the capital letters are, it is two centimeters. And so, Imperial, 
that will be 5 eighths of an inch at the smaller end and at the bigger end where the letters, capital letters are, it is three quarters of an inch. Length, Christmas is the longest, so we'll start there with the inches. Um, it is one and seven eighths. And centimeters, it is four, four point eight. 4.7 centimeters and then we have this very ornate snowflake. Now let me see if there's anything close to that in the veneer. Nope, so it's a different shape altogether and um, inches one and a quarter centimeters and it's length and width of the same is uh, four almost four. So there you go. That's that. Okay, so now I'm going to do some stamping. Now these are brand new. I've never used them, so hopefully I don't have to stamp them twice. I'm not sure even what size block I'm going to need. And if you're a new stamper, the directions are clearly written on the back. This is a Love from Lizzie original stamp. Nice and sticky, which means it's a good stamp. And you can put a photopolymer in England. I'll do two here the same. So we have a Christmas tree and a heart. This ink is, I just got it all over myself, is Memento and the shade is Paris Dusk. So it would be nice dark blue for this kit if you are looking for color. This might be a good one. Okay, so if you're into blue like I am, so there we have it, a wood grain. So that's those two. See how wonderful they stamp right out of the package? And then I'm going to do the stag head and the star. Sticky's good when it comes to stamps. And then we have some words here, so I'll put them here and then you'll have an idea of what they look like. Fresh out of the, off the press. Move this one down. Put this one here. Okay, so now I'm going to ink up the star and the stag. These weren't meant for coloring. These were more to be a graphic image, which I'm sure you'll agree they certainly are. Beautiful graphic images. So there's the star and the stag head. Beautiful. And now we'll do the words. This has Merry Christmas on it, but it is much smaller than the die. And then here are the words here. So we have, I'm just going to put this lid on for you, or for me. This is Winter Wonderland, Gift of Giving, Believe in Magic, Merry and Bright, Merry Christmas, Snow, Joy, and Noel. And here's a good look at what the stamps look like. There's the tree and the star and finally the stag. So thank you so much for joining me and taking time out of your very busy day to spend it with me. I'll put links to Lizzie's store and the subscription to the card kits. I believe this kit has sold out 
However, if you'd like to get the December kit, why not subscribe to make sure you get a kit? Because the subscribers always get theirs first and what's left goes into the general store. So thank you so much and I hope you like this kit as much as I did. If you have any suggestions about what you'd like to see in my 10 card one kit, please do not hesitate to put it in the comments below. Bye bye!